Hey guys, welcome back to GDPG. This is Bunker Punks. And uh, we're about to play with Cleopatra Rex. Cleopatra Rex. Cleopatra Rex. So her perk is that she gets bonus damage with assault rifle. But she also has the plus 25% with the shotgun because, because Dallas Beach died <laughs> four hours since. Yep, and left her the lovely benefit of shotgun power. Shotgun power. So if you notice, we, we have 125% bonus oh, damage so with good. the shotgun. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. All right, Girl, so... the back of your head is ridiculous. The back of your head is ridiculous. See, the, okay, this gives me... The one I have equipped gives me plus 10% armor. The right jacket gives me plus 10% shotgun damage. I would do the shotgun damage. Yeah, I think I would. Let us blow these bitches out of the sky. Um, pancreases? It would help if you, uh... We'll blow these pancreases out of the No, I'm, I'm using the right bitches. I'm not like using that. I'm female dogs, man. That's cool. <laughs> it's, all right. That's cool. For anyone that doesn't understand, we... I guess this is more of an, in, like... Inside joke? Inside joke, yeah. I mean, inside statement, I guess, is better. Inside statement. Uh, our friend group, instead of referring to things as, like, bitches... I don't know if bitches. It's more about pussies. Oh, that's what it is. Yeah, instead of referring that's... to things as pussies... Uh, we refer to things as pancreas because, because pussies theory, um, can take a pounding. Know, pussies can take a pounding. And a pancreas can barely take a, a Anything. Like, like, you poke at it and you're dead. Because it's the weakest organ in the human body. Yep. So, uh, <laughs> so, yeah, guys, let's spread the word. Pussies take a pounding. Vote pancreas for new lame word. And there's your daily dose of feminism. Daily dose of feminism. And now you can live from the rest two of your white day dudes being healthy. Hey, there's nothing wrong with it. Everyone can be a feminist. <laughs> Everyone can be a white dude. Everyone can be... Ugh, that's a little weird. Uh, actually, though, I'm only half white, so it's alright. That's true. Got that Mexicano spirit. Sometimes... No, I'm not People forget. I, I was actually gonna say, sometimes I forget that you actually are white. Um... <laughs> well, <laughs> really? I'm pretty pasty. I know, I know, but like... Not that I think of you as my Mexican friend. <laughs> Cause like that's why I didn't want to say it, because it's, it's not where I wanted to take it. That's not that's not at all where I wanted to take it. It's just like <laughs> Make way. I don't why, know. Why like have your Mexican friend? Can Mexican friends only <laughs> ride their burros and have sombreros as they're drinking their I'm just saying, man, You got that some standards that you're not meeting. <laughs> <laughs> no, but seriously. Avoid using the word pussy. Yeah. Because it can take a pound. And pancreases are really just squishy bits. S pancreases are squishy bits. Dude. T Tony, Tony Leva, uh, uh, 2016. Dude, when I run for president, that's who my platform. <laughs> I'd vote. I'd vote for you. <laughs> ah, ooh, I got stuck. That's, I think that's ultimately my bane in games like yeah, this. Yeah, getting stuck. Because, like... Well, dude, once you get stuck in a game like this, you're boned. Exactly. And, like, with Twitch games, it's all about, like, dodging in and out and then... Right. And then, like, taking cover as soon as you can uh, after you, you know, unload I'm your... I'm surprised they're already redlining you at 48. I guess it's half half health. Yeah. Whoop. I thought like when you have the red bot, like, the red around that's you, that's usually like you're when you're at, like, almost dead. Yeah, like, the bottom 10%. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I, I guess that is a little surprising. I, I feel like it's a little distracting because I already assume, oh my god, I'm going to die on like three more hits. I know, right? When that's not really the case. Yeah. Woo! Ho -ho. I mean, I suppose the it, like, it could just take three solid like That is true. Hits. I guess maybe with like explosives, right? Yeah, but, that's true. Because, because I think most things deal about five damage. Explosions deal about twelve. Although I guess that's also dependent on your armor, because I don't think armor changes your health. Oh! Woo! Oh god. That was not an ideal circumstance. Oh, god. oh my god. Oh god. Oh, there you go. Oh man. Woo! God damn. I just gotta like run in here so that I'm not stuck in those hallways. Yeah, right. Do better, more better. But my old pap pappy always said. What my old pappy said. My old pappy just said, "You're gonna die alone." Well, and then he'd leave. It was really sad. Oh. I had a pretty oh. messed up childhood. Oh. That's re ch funny. Make way for Cleopatra. Make way for Prince Ali. That's all I'll say in case copyright infringement issues. 
You're all over the place. I think the stream put you in a weird mood. Dude, streams do that. That's true. It was nice, though, because you were the first one to actually join me on the stream. That's Every other stream that the show has had, it's been just me. And you know why? There isn't an Affinity Chris plays? Because that's boring. <laughs> yeah, but if it's a Geek Area's plays, then it's just kind of all over the place. It, it would still be funny, though, to be totally honest. Well, I need to play like a full-out like, adventure game, like kind of sandbox style. I think that's where I'd be the most useful. Ooh. You mean like a point and click or click and point? Or a point and click. Or a point and click or even like just a sandbox game. Like, if, I don't know if there's like indies versions of like Fallout oh. and like shit like that where you can just kind of travel everywhere. Absolutely, dude. That, what's, that, what's that space one? We played that uh, Bit Bash last year. Space one? Uh, the one where you're like, you're, you have the little car on the moon or whatever. Oh, right? uh, not. Not? <laughs> N A U T? Oh, is that what it's called? Okay. Maybe not. Ooh. Aha! Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, you're terrible. Accidental puns. Dude, you are. Uh, it's not today, looking so good for you. Today is my day. Today I will win. Today I'm not gonna die. You're gonna die. Today I'm gonna. Oh, actually, let's see what this is. Uh, leather jacket armor gives me melee, removes my shotgun. Who needs armor when you're almost dead? Huh. That's, that's a fair point. Oh, hey, look. I won. Or not. Ooh, that could have been disastrous. <laughs> now I won. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Woo! The nice I, thing is you recover all your health when you enter oh, the next. Oh, that would suck so when you, you leave. Didn't. Oh, my oh, God, yeah. man. Uh, let's see. I still don't really want to do it's that. Okay, let's talk about that. So do you think if, like, they did make your health, like kind of continue over would it be too difficult well they do that per floor right we, well yeah we we gain i think five health f per each floor yes that is um, our upgrade goddess too it would it would severely limit the play length of each play session mm. if if the the damage carried over it would it would certainly teach me to be more careful well, uh, yeah. which might be a good thing in all things considered but at the same time it's like replayability may be a little more difficult or not Absolutely. maybe you'll be like hey it's a hard game Let's try and beat it. That's so tiny. What uh, is it? So the next rank up on this is you gain one H or right now we have one HP per hit on combo kills. Like we get combo kills somewhat regularly. Yeah. But like one HP is it's nothing. It's nothing. Even two HP is still not a lot. Yeah. Uh yeah, let's check out this one. Maybe we're jumping Cleo, forward a little too fast. Cleo but I want to see. Now we can do this. We got Nash this. Bunker. I think I'll we are punky bunkers, man. We're good. Dude, I was a punky bunker. We're a bunker punk. In uh, my email to the the developer of this game, I was I was I realized I had accidentally called it punky bunker. <laughs> in a no, uh, uh, what you call it punker punk? Punk, punk punker yeah punker bunks. That's what it was. And, uh, and I realized in my response to his response, so I was like, oh man, I'm sorry, that was that's super embarrassing. I, I shouldn't have called it that, or I, like, I should have realized that I just like jumbled up my words. Right. And he was like, it's okay, man, it, it happens a lot. Honestly, we should probably just uh, make a slumber party game so that we can get all of our bases covered. <laughs> yeah, it would be, it'd be great if he was like, um, who do you think you are? Um, we are goddamned bunker punks. Don't you forget. How dare you insult we are, us. If you put that crap on YouTube, we're going to tear Ooh. you a new one. Shotgun, shotgun, shotgun. Shotgun. Oh, shotgun. oh. oh. oh boy. Yeah, you need to not hang out in those hallways is what you I need to need do. You just need to not die. You know, that is... Probably the best advice you've ever given. I me. think what I should do is become a video game guru. Hobbs. Uh, people can call me and I'll give them helpful advice. <laughs> tell them how to beat games. They'll even call and they'll be like, "Hi, I need to talk to uh, the guru Gigarius," and I'll be like, "Oh, what's, going on? what's going on? Oh man, I'm uh, I'm playing Poncho right now, <laughs> and this jump is real, real bad." I'll be like, "Fucking kill yourself! Don't play anymore!" And I'll hang up. Hey, Poncho um, is a great game. I love Poncho. That's an amazing game. <laughs> um, but that jump, man. That jump. 
I'd yeah, be like, man, hard time with that jump. I can't dodge bullets in super hot. I'm like, just don't play that game then. You're all obviously terrible at it. You didn't even play super hot. Just, I yeah. guess you did a bit bash. Did I you? did not. What? I wanted to, but the line was long. Weak. And then we had dinner. Weak. And then we never played Cards Against Humanity. That was the saddest thing about Bit Bash. Because I still get to play a good round of that game. You know, there's a question. I know we're supposed to talk about game design. But I need to ask people, is Cards Against Humanity really worth it? Is it more fun to just take a game that's already clean and turn it dirty? That's my question. Are you talking because it, it basically is Apple's staff? Yeah. I hate Apple's staff. I like Apple's staff. Apple, so why do you hate it? Because you're wrong. I just don't find any combination funny. But I think I think there's such a fun way to make things sound bad in Apple's to Apple. Well, yes, but and in like in like Cards Against Humanity, it's like aha, Dick Wave Roller Monster. And everyone's like, ha ha ha, Dick Wave Roller Monster, best thing ever. So here's the thing then. Are themed apples to apps apples to apples versions bad then? Mmm. Because they do that too. True. It's it's ultimately. We should make an apples to apples app. We have the app for apples to apples. I bet you there is one. There really should be one. <laughs> um, but yeah, I guess it's a good point. Um you know what game I really like playing overall, though? It's made by the same people who made Apples to Apples, uh, if I'm not mistaken. Really? And it's called Snake Oil. What? And the whole... You, you know what a Snake Oil salesman is, right? Uh, like a watch salesman? Basically, right? Someone that, that walks in and tries to sell you on something that really isn't worth being sold on. Yeah, it's something um, you didn't need anyway. Yeah, you, you didn't need... You have no reason to need or want ever, but somehow they sell you on it. Oh, well, no. Well, These Snake guys. Oil is like that. Except what's interesting is that you have a themed card, so you could be like a clown. And the whole idea is to actually take two cards from your pile and combine them into one product. <sighs> that's, that's really interesting. It's a lot of fun. We've spent hours just laughing our asses off <laughs> because you'll make ridiculous things like a, ta like, you know, friggin' taco net. It's like, what is a taco net? I'm gonna explain it to okay, you right see, now. Like that, I could find what, funny. And what's great about Snake Oil is that you have to, exp you have to, you have to pitch it. Mm. You have to pitch, and then the person who is the like the the like buyer chooses based off of the pitch and the combination of cards. Mm. And like, there's still maybe some people who like choose just based off of what cards you lay out. But a good pitch can make you win. That's fair. So oh, we can get punk. So now that we've died, yes, we we, have we basically died. are spending our tech to do like meta upgrades. So these are yes. upgrades that will persist across every single playthrough. Um, and this is actually what we're doing in Fish Lab too, is, is a very similar idea. Is like, after you die, you have points that you can spend, and it basically makes future playthroughs more successful in yes. theory. So it perpetuates the game, makes it longer. Um, it's actually a really fun way to give your game feeling like it has a lot of content without actually having to produce a lot of content. Now, of course, it requires the procedural yes. generation is, is one thing that helps. It needs a lot of, like, variety in order to make and that replayability work. And it just feels more customizable, work. too. I just feel yes. like there's this level of custom customization that's just so much fun. Yeah, absolutely. Um, but, yeah, should we, we, should buy, we should buy that punk, though. Oh, did we not buy the punk? I, I bought the rifle upgrade, and I'm going to buy this punk. Ooh, there's another merchant. Look at wow. that, man. <laughs> He's really into working out. Yeah. We don't have enough for that, but we can buy better armor. There you go. Ooh, Ooh and better boots. And do we have 25 to spend on it? Oh, I'm and more. Oh, look at us. Um, but, yeah, I think this is about the end of the episode. Cool. Um, uh, I think that's what we're gonna play for now. Yeah, Let look, us... I think we got we gave we gave a good overview of the whole game, and we got yeah. in there, which is good. We got to show this. <laughs> yeah. Um, sorry if we didn't talk a ton about bunker punks, but uh, we also talked a lot about during the stream, so we didn't want to double yeah, so up too much. Yeah, we didn't want to double up too too much. Um, but let us know if you want to see more. We will certainly check out future iterations of this this game too, if if you'd rather see that, um, and we can make things a little bit more game design yeah, oriented really, for those uh, episodes too. Question of the day. Question of the day. I want to ask about the meta mechanics actually. Um, so basically, what we're seeing is is things like new merchants, um, new rooms, and new perks or like new pieces of equipment that or you can new find. New characters. Um, that's what I said. New punks. Oh, punks. Those are perks. Oh. I said that, too. So, if you were to design <laughs> something for the meta, meta system to have, um, seeing everything that you've seen about the game so far, what would you do? Would it be maybe um, 
don't know. I, yeah, I don't know. This, I feel like they, they definitely covered their bases, but I'm wondering if there's something more they could have done. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, yeah, let us know in the comments, guys. Please, we'd love to discuss with you all. And remember, guys, right over here to the side, vote whether you want to see us play more um, Bunker Punks or any other game. And if you have any, any suggestions for games, we love getting suggestions, too. We put them in the pool, and we start putting the voting system out there for those games, too. Even if sometimes we take a little longer. Yeah, them. but we will get to them eventually. Yeah. We will get to them. They're all on our docket. Yeah, it's, it's hard now that we went down to our one episode yes. a, a day schedule. But anyway, thank you for watching, everybody. Stay tuned for the next series, and uh, we hope you enjoy. And if this is May, May the 4th be with you. Just throw that out there. <laughs> See you guys later.